Hi, it's Brittany from Imperium. Welcome back to my channel. This is the 2024 vlog number five. Yes, yes it is. Okay, um, so I'm actually doing the intro early. Sometimes I like have to go back and do it, uh, but not this time. Uh, okay. What am I doing? I got it ordered from Pear and I ordered a tiny order from Morlino. Um, I printed off this super cute, remember, this is before I supplemented the colors at all, Kitty Breakfast, um, from Haley Snyder Designs, that one is a fun, like, colorway background, um, and it's not for fabric shops, but I did purchase another colorway of it that I can sell, so I'm going to be placing an order for vinyl to sell. Um, Bees and Teas is restocking at Hex Reject. I've got a tote I was going to try to make before I leave for Washington tomorrow. I leave for Washington tomorrow to go to the So Expo in Puyallup, Washington. I'm going to help more me know. Um, so I'll have that stuff in here. Okay, but I ordered a really fun um, cat topper. Um, my friend Jenny ordered with my referral code for a pair, um, so I had a credit. And then I also had reward points, so I was like, it's happening. Also, they emailed me and said that this collection was about to go away. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got Galaxy Cats. <laughs> Look at them. So... This little guy is wearing a space helmet. <laughs> <laughs> they all are. <laughs> it's like goose is on my face. I love it. I really love it. Um, and I also grabbed another sunglass topper because I've been keeping my one sunglass topper I have in my car. I like forgot to take it when I went out of town. I it's the best. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, I don't wear the toppers a lot. Um, I've been having a hard time just adjusting to new glasses and stuff. I I don't know. I'm just weird too. So. Anyways, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just me. Um, the shop app. When you check out, you earn, like, credits, and I didn't want mine to expire, so I placed a tiny for me note order. I love when they do this. <laughs> so cute. Um, so I just got... Seriously, like, I got some D-rings. And some pop tab tools. Yep. Didn't cost me much. I had shop cash. So, I did a live, two lives with my friend Leanne. Um, we did a cutting one, and then yesterday we did a sewing one. We made the How You Do a Bowler from Sincerely Gen Patterns. I need to finish binding mine. I had to leave to get my son. So I'm going to do a time lapse of finishing that. I'll pop it into this vlog. I'm hoping to finish at least one thing before I leave. We'll see. Anyways, see you later.
So I finished this. <coughs> George found me. Like, rubbing all over me. <coughs> Binding might not be my strong suit. Um, I don't know if it was just this bag. I actually haven't shared this because I haven't finished it. I have a really cute rosy that I just need to bind. The only reason I put off binding on that is because I couldn't get the light pink um, waterproof canvas for a while. Sir, do you have to knock everything over? Um, but my rosy and the other one that I've actually finished and bond, fine. I think, I think my only issue with this one is that we modified the pattern to be bound and it wasn't written that way. So it's just these corners don't look good but Leanne tried making all of this one piece and I think that's the way to go so I do want to try that because having this right here is terrible um and then also I was kind of on my Decaville heavy not good but it is a super cute little purse um it's a nice size I think that my binding everywhere else came out all right um and you know thankfully once someone buys a purse like this they're not unless they're gonna flip the bag inside out and be like oh you truly cannot tell so that's cool um yeah so we've got a divided uh, pocket in there and a zipper pocket it opens really wide and then um, I added I made my handles 17 inches the pattern calls for like 16 inches um this pink like shimmer distressed vinyl is um a May 15th drop for more me know I asked so George you love the cylinder arm too making air biscuits okay bye <laughs> i've completely forgotten to vlog anything and this is the end of like the third day of the expo there's steve um this is a cute new ruler display for all the sizes of the rulers shirts woven labels that are left selling out of a bunch um, so there are sample bags made with all the Mormino goodies there's a hardware tower more notions more hardware fabrics these are so cute little stars cute cat purse someone made I don't know who Another cute cat purse, but and then we've got TV playing sewing videos. It's really cute. This place is huge. It's uh, the biggest sewing expo I've been to. I haven't been to a lot, but yeah, fun times. All right, I have returned from the Washington Sew Expo two nights ago, but um, George feels like I've left him for a whole life. So he's been needy. Um, I have some mail. I have some things that I got. I think I have a science infection. If you're new here, it happens like every other month. Um, it was warming up in Ohio when I left. And then I got to Washington and it was like 40 and rainy. It briefly snowed for a moment. Um, and then I got back to Ohio it was nice and warm. I drove home at 1.30 in the morning with my sunroof open. It was nice. I loved it. Um, but now this. Also, it's like cooled down again here. What's new? Had a blast at the Sew Expo. I got to see some old friends. I got to meet some new friends. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay, anyways. Um, I got to help my friend Lauren from More Me Know in her booth, and I got to see my friend Brianna, who lives out there, that I have not seen in 
over a year, so that was really nice. Um, and then she came and helped us and actually came back another day to see my friend Leanne, who I recently did some lives with. Finally got to meet her in person. Amazing. Um, yeah, so anyways, Lauren was chain stitching these new bags. Mine says meow meow. <laughs> Um, I had the roses one, and that one says Brittany, but this one is the scissors. So I got that from her. Um, excuse me, George. Watch out, bud. This is the little, like, goodie bag they had for everyone. So it was the 40th year of the Sewing and Stitchery Expo in Washington, so it was really cool. Um, I didn't purchase a lot of stuff. Um... I'm kind of like all over the place right now. Um, Beauty and the Geek custom fabric. I got this one and a half inch webbing. And then I got this cool pastel galaxy-ish zipper tape. And it's got... I thought it was the, like, Midnight Rainbow. But I think it's like a purple-blue-green shift. It's not quite the normal rainbow and then I got the soot sprite zipper with the midnight rainbow um my friend Brianna wants me to use it in her bag um I don't know where the card is that goes with this but I got this hand dyed fabric so our school colors are green and gold and I'm always making teacher gifts around Christmas and the end of the year so I thought that would be great um I got a set of Callisto crossbody templates from Sonar. I tested this pattern and I really like it. It's a nice size, little quick to make crossbody. I think it'll be good for sewing at shows. Um, and I want to show you something. This is my iron that I've had for a while. It's cracked. I don't know what's going on here. And, um, probably cost 20 bucks. So, I've been wanting an Aliso iron for a long time. If you've ever seen them, they're the fancy kind that pop up when you're done using them so that you don't kill your wrist. Um, sometimes I make a lot of steering wheel covers. And I've wanted one. And they have a pink one. And I have wanted it. And then they came out with a Tula Pink collaboration. And I wanted it. And I was like, oh, they're kind of pricey. Well, I saw it in person. So. I got this iron. It says, please don't feed the fish. Um, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Um, if you happen to be new to my channel, I love pink. Especially, like, this pink. Hot pink. Anyways. It's so cute! It is. <laughs> so cute. I love it so much. Uh, I was trying to show my daughter how it worked. Okay, yeah, so there it is. So like, it's not on, on. But when you set it down, it pops up. It's amazing. I'll have to like, do some lives using it, just so I can use it. But it's got like a nice little cord swivel. It's just so pretty. I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna be buying some distilled water especially for it so that um, it does not get harmed. And um, Tula Pink, I've never physically, physically, I've never actually bought their fabric, but I do have a little um, pouch that someone made me with the cat print. Um, they re-released like a new cat print and it should be available to retail places very soon. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna use my iron. 
Mormy No has new 13 by 13 inch rulers. So this one's for my friend Tiff. And I got the pink to teal. I got is my favorite. I would have gotten both. I don't need that many rulers. Um, let's see here. I got a couple things from Mormy No. They had these special star um, bottles with clips in them. And I thought if anything else to be real cute on my shelf. <laughs> I grabbed um, a miscellaneous zipper pack. It is neon pink with rose gold. And I didn't think I'd like the combination, but I kept looking at it. I really like it. So, yeah. Um, Nicole gave me one of her slap bracelets. It says, uh, don't be. Oh, I got one of Nicole's hair with it. It's green. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I don't have any green hair. <laughs> Anyways, so you can like wrap this around vinyl and cork and whatnot. Um, I got the new Sewing Ghost pop socket. I got another sticker because I can't have too many. Um, I got some more Finish What You Started Human woven labels. And then um, Mormino has some new snips and a couple new prints. And I grabbed the Batty Leopard. So good. I'm going to put these at my machine. Okay, um, oh, if you have the, the floral totes, these ones have a magnetic snap and a little zipper pocket, so that's cool. The other ones do not have that. That's all I got at Sew Expo. Like I said, it wasn't a lot, but the iron was a big purchase. Um, it's fine. I got my sewing blurbs in while I was gone. It's just a hot mess. I uh, Thea's home today too. She did not feel good this morning. So it's fine. Okay. As always, QR code. You can scan and see what all is in here. Ooh, we got some great tags in here. This is like neon pink. It's a ghost with a stack of books. Cute. We've got a mountain. It says rise above. And this one says made with every procrastination quote that ever exists. Uh, and then we have oh hi. I think you're amazing. And we've got Zodiac, Aries, Honest, Charismatic, and Fun with the Constellation. Struggling with light today, I think. Um, and then we got the Book Bestie pattern, which I do already have. I got it last year when it came out. And some book bestie buttons. I don't know if they're, some of them have words on them. I don't know if maybe the backs of others do. Ah, uh, yes. So I'll have to take the little protective cover off, but they are like colored acrylic. Some of them are glittery. Um, when you make the book bestie, I'm trying to cover the QR code, you can sew a little button on. So I'll probably try that next time we make it. Um, because the, like, elastic strap I don't think holds the greatest, so I'll try this next time. Um, got two other things. I ordered something on Amazon that I want to share with everyone, and I've already added it to my Amazon store because I'm so excited. Um, some of you may know, I do love Squishmallows just as much as my child, uh, especially the cats, and they have some Squishmallow pet beds, but they're more so like geared towards dogs. 
which fine, whatever. I've kind of wanted one or two of them Ooh, a couple times. But anyways, I was searching to show someone, one of my friends, all the different ones because we were talking about it. And they got some new ones. So the old ones are just like a flat bed, but it has like the Squishmallow character on it. I think it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Well, they have this now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. This is cool. So it zips. Hang on. I'm off my drink over. Okay. There's like a raw edge here. So I'm trying not to get stuff covered. Zipper. Okay, took a second, but it's got a nice little bed in here. Hey Georgia, you in that box? This is nice. So this is Cam the pet bed. I love how on the tags they like describe things. Cam loves to jump in and out of boxes and build forts with his friends Hoot and Wendy. He also enjoys going to the beach to take cat naps or hanging with his friends, but is always up for an adventure. So. to go in your new cat bed? Show the people. <laughs> Is that your new bed? Do you like it? He's like, I'd probably like it if you weren't holding me, Mom. Let's see her. Making a mess on the floor. Oh, sorry, George. Anyways, super cute. It was like 30 bucks. I don't think it was too bad. Um... Like I said, it's linked in my thing. Okay. This is what we all came here for. No? Okay. I got my vinyl order in while I was gone. And I can't wait to share. So I've been doing pre-order and retail on textured vinyl. Um, the last, like, two rounds I've done it or whatever. One? I don't know. Um, but I also ordered smooth vinyl. So excited. It's going to be interesting. So let's see here. This vlog goes up on... on the 10th and I was thinking about doing retail on the 9th so that said when you watch this you can check and see if anything is still available okay There's so many goodies um, I'm also waiting hopefully it'll be in this vlog for woven fabric and the sublimation fabric that I tested recently I ordered it to sell. How do I get this all out of here? <laughs> Welcome to Hot Mess Express. It's like I go away and I come home and I don't know what's going on. It's crazy. Also, I'm going to work on some more Taylor Swift tarot cats. Let's see. I got to get this up on the table. I'm gonna get this up and then I can show you everything. Okay, I think I have this where I can somewhat do this. It's like a big roll of a lot of vinyl. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I got extra. I got messed up. It looks like it's extra. Huh. 
just like blurry at the front. Talk about psychedelic alien cats. <laughs> okay, so anyways, there is the alien cats. Love them. So, okay, have those. pieces of that and though these are all on these are on the textured I think that was all pre-orders probably most of the retail I'm gonna have in this batch is going to be smooth vinyl I personally like it better and I'm kind of hoping to switch to it just overall um, a little bit of the pastel star and moons which this is a rerun I'll be so mad when that falls down I, know I wasn't talking about that but you know all right so this is the first time getting this printed it is the kitty moon phases and it's so cute Um, there are a couple prints in this order that I can't sell um, just because I don't have like licensing to sell them. I don't know which way this goes, but this is really cute. It's all cats on a nice blue background. So far, everything I've shown is stuff that is for sale. <laughs> Kitty pizza. I love this. It's so cute. I'll have to get more of this. I can't even remember what I ordered on Woven. I think I might have gotten that one. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Favorite kitty alien, uh, space kitties. I love this print. The rest might be smooth vinyl. So this is the alien cat on smooth. The backing on them is different. So this has like the fuzzy back. It does stretch a little in one direction, but it's not gonna tear. So there's Moon phases on smooth. Okay. This one I can't sell, so this is for me. But it's really cute. Definitely gonna be making things with it. This is a new print that I'm selling. I didn't have it in time to add it to the pre-order, so we'll just have retail. It is Boba Tea Kitties. So cute. I definitely got this on Woven, also. Love that. <sighs> My shoulders hurt. Here is the Cats on Blue. This is new, and this I can sell. Hot chocolate meow. Man, it just doesn't stop. 
Okay, this is fine. This is my cat. I just Taylor Swift. It is Taylor Swift like icons in the different eras. This one I can't sell. But there's another colorway that I think I can get licensing for that I do own. So they're Tobians. They're really cute. Um, I can't remember. So like this one has like the rainbow background. I own another one. Um, so if we like it, I can get that and get the, grab the licensing for it. What? <coughs> well, this is cute. Okay, so uh, my Photoshop wasn't working and I couldn't tell them the scale I wanted. But I think it's really cute. Because I added this on last minute. Little kitty book. I don't know. I'm like, everyone likes scales different for different projects, but there is the Pizza Cats on Smooth. Here's another Moon Face Cat, but this one is in a colorway that I can't sell. So this one's all for me. It's my favorite colorway too. I'm so sorry. It looks so good. Let's blow things over. Alright, this one I can sell. I grabbed two of them. Kitty roses. And I have a, color, a different colorway of this for myself. This stack is getting intense. Oh, yes. Okay, space kitties on smooth. Strawberry cats are just for me. I wish I could sell them. They're so cute. But the designer doesn't allow fabric shops to sell. Apparently I had two of that. Really wanted that one for myself. Almost done. Broke the bolt. More smooth space kitties. And then this is a new print. I think it's really cute. It is, um, it was released as like a Valentine's print, but it's like witchy love spell kitties. I think it's so cute. Okay, so that is 50 rolls worth of vinyl. Gonna be busy. So some of the ones I got just for myself. I um, mean, you know, I really want to do CatCon this year in California. So we need to make lots of stuff. If I make like Tuesday totes out of vinyl, I don't have to interface. It just goes a lot faster. Um, so those, you know, are great sellers. And then the Moon Dance Notepad cover. And then there's plenty of bags that I can make of vinyl. And then I don't have to go through all the interfacing and stuff so yeah I already got <coughs> new files since I got placed that order like this super cute one um I don't know I got a bunch so I'm gonna be placing another order very soon I'm debating we might run a pre-order next week um just so if someone wants to order, they can. I don't get a lot of pre-orders, which is fine. Um, as long as retail does well, 
Um, but the pre-orders do help me order more retail and it also gives me an idea of what people want. So, yeah. This might be a long vlog. I didn't think it would be, but yeah. Hello. This is me after being sick all week. Ignore the voice. Gotta finish the vlog. Um, I got uh, a template order in from that template shop. I'm not gonna open the whole thing. But I got the Mr. Huckles handbag from Sincerely Jen. Um, dang it, I forgot. There's a discount code if you're in the So Whatever group. And I always forget about it. Um, didn't use it. Could have saved me a couple bucks. But they have, they package really well. Um, they have a new, like, simplified option where you don't get any writing on your templates. You have to write it on your own. But you save, like, 30%. I should probably do that. I have a hard time writing a lot because, um, sorry, the issues I have with my hands. So I didn't want to do that and I'm spoiled and I just really wanted the writing already on there. So it cost me a cool 185 bucks. I don't know. I put it on zip pay. It'll be worth it. I plan on making a decent amount of Mr. Huckles. I think it'll be a really good crossbody, like decent sized bag for shows. Hopefully. Okay, so I showed you the vinyl. This vlog goes live Saturday, March 9th in the morning. Um, I <coughs> Sorry. I'm having retail. Saturday, March 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern on my website. And it is going to be Final Rolls Cotton Woven Fabric by the Half Yard due to some requests. Um, and then I got my sublimation fabric in. The blank sublimation fabric that I tested a couple vlogs ago. I ordered a bunch of it. I love it. Um, so I hope everyone else loves it too. I plan to keep it in stock on my website hopefully. Um, but I wanted to show you what the rolls of vinyl look like, um, not me awkwardly going through them. So I ordered a little of a lot. I got like a yard of a bunch of prints because I was just ordering extra for retail. So a lot of these are going to sell really fast because I don't have much. But so here is Eras. I probably should have thought this through better. Um, and again, I ordered a bunch of smooth vinyl. I don't want to switch to smooth vinyl. I like it better than the textured. I think it just looks better. Um, so we've got the pink alien kitties. We have the Polaroid book kitties. The boba kitties. Moon phase kitties dark. There's a lighter version I would like to order. So, um, I've got one roll of textured pastel moon and stars left. Um, we've got pizza cats on pink. I love this, it's so cute. We have hot cocoa kitties. So cute. Space Kitties, which ran this last time. Love it. Gonna try to keep it each time. It's one of my favorites. Um, looks like I have a couple other textured rolls still in stock. Um, this one's new. The Rose Kittens. Really cute. Um, we've got it. The kitties on blue. And we have the love spell kitties. It's really cute. Alright, so that's all the vinyl that I have to sell. Any of the other prints you saw, which there are four of them, um, they're ones I can't sell as fabric, but I can sell finished products, so um, they're for myself. And then we've got 
Alien Kitties Pink in Cotton Woven. The Boba Kitties. The Moon Phase Kitties Dark. Um, the Love Spell Kitties. Space Kitties. I think there's one more. No. No, that was it. Okay, so that's all the woven. Got fur in my mouth. <laughs> okay, hold please because I gotta show you a make. We're gonna do two makes. I cannot remember for the life of me if I shared this before I went to Washington. Um, this is the How You Do in Bowler from Sincerely Jen. I might have shared it. But this print is from Retro Stitch Custom Fabrics and it is currently on pre order. And then this pretty vinyl <coughs> is coming soon from Warmy Now. Now, this. I did a live, I did a two part live, making this Dinah handbag. It's a pattern from Catsiopia Patterns. And. This gorgeous brown vinyl is an upcoming release from Mormino. It drops on March 15th. But this print is from Hex Reject. And it just dropped, just like just dropped as of me recording this on Friday night. Um, but it is so cute. There's a Evermore tag in there from where we know but you can't really see it and I did something really special on this purse that I've never done before <laughs> it's so cute it took me forever to do this and I appreciate everyone who watched me do it live um, I don't think it would take me as long as it did also I did the stitching so much nicer on this than I normally do should probably remember to do it that way all the time. But I love it. Alright. Oh. This is the sublimation fabric that I have for retail. It is very smooth. It's almost like silky in a way, but it is polyester. And I just really like it. Um, it's very white. I just, I love it, and I hope everyone else does too. Um, I'm selling it by the yard, so you can grab just one yard and try it. Um, and if you don't like it, let me know why, please. Don't just be mean, but let me know why. Um, and if you have something you prefer using instead, I'm happy for you. But I'm going to switch to this, because I love it. Anyways, so again, this is the end of vlog 5. I think it's five. Who knows? Um, on the <coughs> man, I'm dying. <coughs> on the next vlog, hopefully I am no longer sick. I will be working on puzzle cat toy orders like crazy. I'm hoping to get a couple of um, customs done. <sighs> I probably won't have a ton of makes, and I have literally nothing going on between now and the first weekend of April when I go to So Whatever Studio for an Open So Weekend. I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, just lots of cat toys. And then I'm going to try to probably do a good portion of my customs live just so I can get some videos up. Um, I do still want to record my Rosie video. I'm hoping to do that next week after I get my nails done. They don't look pretty. They don't need to be up close and personal right now. Um, and then since I got my Mr. Huckles templates, maybe we'll do like a cutting and sewing soon of that too. I don't know. I have lots of plans and they don't always happen. So thanks for sticking with me. Um, I did give early access to the paid Patreon members and the paid channel members. Um, so if you are one of those people, um, check those areas. And if you'd like to grab some retail first, as a thank you for being a member, um, that is available. Um, again, both of those things are completely optional. Um, I just want to 
give a little back for the support. So I appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you did. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're up to. Um, it was really great meeting more of you in Washington, and I look forward to the next one. Oh, so Magical Expo, the class information has gone live. Um, I will be teaching Intro to Sublimation. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And the Gunther Hobo Bag from Sincerely Jen on Industrials. Those are my two classes I am teaching in Nashville. It's like the end of August. Okay, I'm really going. Bye. Have a good weekend.